Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and today we are going to solve Google Frontend Developer Interview question. So let's jump to the question. So we have to create this UI. Um, so in this UI you can find this is our simple form which contains two input boxes. First is the number of rows and second will be number of columns. And we have this submit button and once we write uh, four rows, five columns and click on submit, it generates a table and inside that table you can find some numbers are there. So what we have to do, um, and if you specifically see the table, it will be like um, in the ascending order in the even columns and in the descending order in the odd columns. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the column 0 and 5, 6, 7, 8 in the column um, 1. So we have to do this. So I can say how to solve this question. So I can say like let's divide this um, app into two parts. First is to create a form and accepting the inputs. And second is from this input generating this table. Okay, so let's do the first part first. So we will create the form. So let's um, remove this and say create form. And inside that form, I will say I will have a two input. So first we will have a label. Label will be rows, rows, and then uh, similarly I will have a column as well. Column, and here column and in, um, after this label um, we will have an input box which will be say um, of type number of type number and uh, yeah and the name will be rows and id will be rows similarly for um, column as well we will have an input type number and uh, name will be column and id will also be column so this id will equal to this html4 okay and then we will have a, a button type submit so let's say submit and here the button type should also be submit now let's give some uh, basic stylings to our um, form so let's go to style.css and here i will come and give form and give some display flags and display will be of type flags and the flags direction should be um, column. So let's go flex direct and column and uh, I will give some gap that will be 8 pixel. Okay, so I have to go here and I have to put this label like each input inside one div. So let's go here and put another div and this column will be in this div. Similarly, this uh, rows would be in this div. So yeah, it looks good. Now, one more thing that I have to do is I have to give some row um, margin left to this input so i will say like um, form input and i will give it a margin left margin left and that will be let's say 8 pixel one more thing let's give a width width will be let's say let me give a width um 250 pixel and let's see how it yeah now it's look good so i will come back to this apps.js and now what i have to do if i on if i write something here um right now i am not able to write anything Okay, so what I have to do, I have to make it uncontrolled component so that I have to use states. So use use state from react and then I will, um, I need a two state, one is for the number of rows and one is for number of columns. So I will say const rows set rows and I will initialize it with empty string. Similarly, I will say const columns set columns and that will also equal to like new state empty string now what i have to do on clicking this input something should happen um no on this submit um we will have a on submit here so i will say on submit what you have to do you will um call this handle submit function okay and like you will pass events to this handle submit function and this handle submit function should be have e now what i have to do i have to create handle submit function and this function have the event and the very first thing i will do is i will prevent default so, so that it will not uh, reload so prevent default and then what i have to do is um i have to extract the data from the table I will say const data from um, new form data 
so this will return an object which contain all the keys and values of from this input so i will say um, form and how to find this form so this will be e dot target now what i have to do i will say um, that rows is equals to um let me just console log uh, so that you can find what is this data is so console dot log data and let's just go here and let me remove everything let's make it like this so if i write anything here let's say once two and if i write 12 and if i submit it so you can see this is the form data and from this form data there are so many things like apparently get and inside this get um i can write something so let's say if i say data dot get and i will use the name uh, the name is rows okay so i will say rows and let's try to find out its value so let me remove this let me just submit it so you can find this 12 value so how to find this value uh, using the get so what i, I will do is i will set rows um let me just close this that rows that rows will be data dot get rows clearly we will have a column that columns that will be data dot get columns so now our value is that is so uh, now let's say if i want to console log we have already console log and our first step is done that is accepting the input so i hope you understand how to uh, use this on submit how to take the submit how to like take the data from the form so it is very simple form it contains only two things and yeah and this is access uh, accessibility is also good like always remember to write this label okay so now what we have to do we have to generate the table so that is our second task so so this is our table that we have to generate so here you can find like one two three four we have a uh, four rows four rows and we have one two three four five we have a uh, five columns and five columns now how to find um, this text this number so if you um, see um, let me just mark it index 0 1 2 3 and 0 1 2 3 4 so here um, this is my column 0 this is my column 0 and for column 0 um, the number will be like very simple um, this is rows plus 1 I can say for column 0 um, my first number is 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 and it is 0 plus 1 will be 1 1 plus 1 will be 2 2 plus 1 so i will say if my column is even is even in that case in that case um, what number will be so number will be rows plus 1 rows plus 1 and now let's say if this is our even column this is also our even column and uh, if i like remove this 1 plus 1 if i remove uh, like 1 2 3 4 so what number will be remain so 9 minus 1 uh, 10 minus 2 11 minus 3 so this will be 8 is remaining now what is this 8 i can say this is 4 like 2 into number of rows so my formula will become rows into rows into current column and this will be row row plus 1 uh, rows into column so this will be our formula when column is even and now let's see um, when column is odd so when column is odd what is this so i can say um, this is 8 okay and what is this 8 this 8 will be rows um, into column plus 1 column plus 1 if column is odd in that case what is happening rows is rows into column plus 1 minus rows why minus rows because you can notice like it is decreasing 8 7 6 5 so i uh, let's use this formula and uh, try to generate the table i will create a new component for table so let's uh, go here create a new component go here write table dot js const um stable and table will be and inside that table we will have the two parameters that is rows and um, the row uh, so i will create um, return and return the t body um no we have to return the table and inside that table there is no header so we will start with t body itself 
and inside this tree body we will have the number of rows so let's say array dot from and inside this from i will say length and length will be rows so this rows number of rows will be there and i will use map over it and uh, let's say i don't need an index like i will need an index for um for key now from this what i will do i will pass um str i will say tr this will be the row and inside this row what we will have we have a columns number of columns so i will say array dot from and inside this from i will say mm, length and length will be calls and here again we will use the map again we will use the map again i will say like index and uh, here i have to send um td td that is a table cell so now i have to uh, decide what will be the value of this uh, table cell so it depend on the row and column so basically i have to write here row and i have to write it here column so now if my column is even so i will say if column um is even how to find it is even so i will say if column um this equal equals to zero if this is the case if column is even in that case what i have to write i have to write um rows rows into column rows into column plus um rows into col plus um rows plus 1 i will say row plus 1 so this is something like in this way and if uh, it is a, like our column is um odd in that case what i have to do i have to say rows into um col plus 1 col plus 1 and uh, that will be plus not plus minus rows so now let's export this table and see uh, if it's working or not so export default um stable and let's import it here let's import it here let's import stable from stable and one more thing that i want to do is i don't want to like write form here so let's generate a um, a um, new component for form so let's create a form form.js and here i will say const form is equals to and here i need um, return and inside that return this and here i will say export default form so here what are the thing that i have to pass it handle submit i have to pass it and uh, yeah so i have to pass handle submit handle submit and nothing else i guess yeah just i have to pass the handle submit so let's go here and uh, find uh, first of all import your form as well so import form from form okay <laughs> so yeah form from form so now what i have to do i have to send form uh, handle submit is equals to like handle submit this is the only thing that i have to send now from the table what i have to do for the table i have to send the rows and the column so rows will be rows and the column will be calls okay calls so calls will be columns okay so these are the two thing that i have to send now let's uh, write it um 12 12 and click submit okay so what is this problem why this is then um so let's just go through table and find it out so first of all it is rows into to column rows is to okay so this will be row and second thing will be this rows and column okay so the mistake that i have done is this should be row our indexing should be the row okay and this should be col not this one this will be uh, because i make an array and that array i don't know what what element it contain so it will be probably none so let me just write again 12 and 12 and create some it so you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 12 and then 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 this and i hope like uh, i think it's working fine let's just give some styling to it so let's go uh, so what we will do we will give this um, td like stable cell some border so i will say um here come um table td give some border let's say one pixel solid 
black and then I will um, give some padding as well give some padding let's say 4 pixel okay this look good and one more thing that I want to do is I don't want to give some gap between the table element so I will say table and border collapse border collapse and that will be collapse so now there is no gap I think this look good one more thing that if you see this 98 and this 109 so I want to make it center so let's go here and say text line center yeah this look good so and one more thing um for this table let's have a margin margin top that will be 12 pixel so i hope uh, this works fine uh, let's uh, try for a uh, different uh, uh, things like four and four will it working fine one two three four five six seven eight yeah it's working fine let's check for five it's working fine one more thing, uh, if I make these columns equals to zero, in that case, um, it should give me some warning or something like that, that columns and rows should be at least greater than one or one. So let's go here and like form and do that. So what I will do, I will say minimum should be one and let's make minimum equals to one. And if I save it, so now if I click on submit, it will say value must be greater than equals to one. And similarly, if I make this 4 and make my row 0, so it will handle this test case. So now user can understand it could be greater than 1. I hope um, this question, you are able to solve this problem and try to solve this problem in the vanilla JavaScript as well. Let me know in the comment section, are you going to solve this question in vanilla JavaScript? And also let me know, like, uh, are you able to understand how this form uh, works and how to generate this table? And yeah, and let me know in the comment section uh, uh, how this series is going on. And if you have any uh, suggestion or feedback, do let me know in the comment section. Whatever you want to write, do write in the comment section. And thanks for watching.